Hello and welcome to The Takeaway with Tyra. Thank you for joining me today. Now so that you don't miss out on any of my updates, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also like hearing from you, so go ahead and like and comment. My guests are always exciting and have great things to share with us. What I do on this show is I have one guest and I ask them one question. Then they get the floor for about 10, maybe 15 minutes. So here we go. So hi everyone, welcome to it, uh, The Takeaway with Tyra. I'm so glad you could join me today. And here today I am with Lynn Nakamoto. I am so happy you joined me today, Lynn. How are you? I'm well, and I'm very excited to be interviewed by your show. I love your show. It's so much value for us. I thank you for pro providing that to us. Oh, I'm so happy. Yes, you know, that that's the thing. It's so wonderful to be able to share the on passive vision with people. And you meet all kinds of people all over the globe and people are getting very, very excited about what on passive has to offer. So we're going to just jump right in because as you know, I ask my guests one question and they have about 10, 15 minutes, they can answer it. So Lynn, today, what I want to know from you is how do you feel that on passive can help anyone anywhere that this is a business they can get involved with. The mic is yours, Lynn. Thank you very much. Well, you know, as you know, On Passive has a very special business model. And in this model, your success is guaranteed. It doesn't matter who you are, your background, your, your knowledge, your educational level, everybody will become successful. And let me talk shortly about that business model, which is very unique. First of all, on passive does mostly everything on our behalf. And this would include selling, marketing, customer contact and follow up, and even the building of our networks. Our customer base is done by on passive. And because of this, I feel that on passive is truly accessible to everyone. And so I want to talk about how on passive is what I call an equalizer. So it doesn't matter your beginnings, your backgrounds or anything, it equalizes everyone. And so I wanna now talk about the different groups that I feel can succeed in on passive. Okay. When the first one I'm thinking of is the deaf because I've been an interpreter for over four decades, interpreting for the deaf community in Hawaii. I'm currently retired, but my heart is with the deaf. And I feel that, oh, the deaf can be very successful. I have a large deaf team myself. They've all done quite well in on passive. And this is because, well, for one thing, we have a deaf leadership council member. His name is Jeremy Williams. I'm very proud of the fact that on passive appointed a deaf person to yeah. represent the deaf community rather than a hearing person and the deaf Members are very proud of Jeremy. He has represented them so well. He makes sure that there's accessibility with the webinars. We are in a pre-launch right now, but once we go to a full launch, I guarantee you that On Passive is going to provide communication access for deaf founders. This is a guarantee. I know mm -hmm. Ash's heart. I know his philosophy of inclusive inclusivity. Mm -hmm. So I know this is going to happen for the deaf. We also have interpreters, interpreters who are currently members of OnPassive, they're founders. But after the launch, I'm sure OnPassive will be hiring interpreters, certified interpreters to interpret webinars. So therefore, deaf will be included. They will know what's going on. They will be part of the company 100% like anybody else is. Another group that I think OnPassive will be accessible to is the blind or the low vision. For okay. one thing, Ash Mufaro is going to follow the law. And the law says that there, there needs to be communication access for every group, including the blind. So the blind will have screen readers normally so that they can access the information. But the graphics, I guarantee you that this company is going to label those graphics 
so that deaf, I mean, blind people can know what the graphics are because the graphics are described right. by on passive. So this is going to be providing accessibility to the to blind and low vision. We will also have enlarged text so that you can enlarge to whatever size is appropriate for that person's vision. Right. Um, We're also gonna be accessible to physically disabled. If there are any physical needs, these people can have an a, a authorized representative. So for example, if it's someone who uh, is not able to uh, control the keyboard, for example, there's gonna be software they can use, but if they don't have that software, they can ask an authorized representative to log in and log out for them, wow. to handle their wallets, you know, telling them when they want to withdraw their commission, that should be no problem at all because we allow for authorized representatives. I personally am a representative for a couple of my blind uh, okay. founders in my team. So that shouldn't be any problem at all. Now, if we're talking about intellectually disabled people, that shouldn't be a problem either. If they are severely disabled, they will have an authorized rep. That rep will log in, handle their account for them, ask their opinion of what they wanna do with their commission, for example. So that shouldn't be a problem at all. Now, another group which are not disabled, but I think that they will have accessibility to our company is those who speak English as a second language or may have ba barely any competency in English. That should not be a problem, Tyra, because- oh, we provide interpretation, right? So the, the mm -hmm. written word can be in whatever language, whatever the native language of that person in is, right? right? Because we're in a 212 countries. So all those languages are gonna be part of what OnPassive offers. So this exactly. is truly remarkable, right? Because now you don't have to know English to access our products or the webinars you'll hear your language, your native language when you're in on passive. Right. So, you know, these are the things that I think are very special about on passive. I don't think you're going to see it in every company out there. And it all emanates from Ash Mufara, who is a loving man. He's very sensitive to the needs of others. He wants accessibility for all groups within on passive, and he's going to make it happen for us. Wow, that is that is really something, Lynn. Um, was there anything more that you wanted to add to this? Well, as a conclusion, I would say that, you know, our business model, as well as the philosophy of our head of the company, Ash Mafaro, all of them contribute to total access by this company to every group, no matter what their disability or their language is, it's total accessibility. And I, and I believe that on passive, because of its business model, is gonna ensure that every one of us, disabled or not, English speaking or not, is gonna have both time freedom and financial freedom. And this is just an exceptional company. You're not gonna see a company like this in your lifetime. I guarantee you that. Oh, wow. Lynn, you know, you really brought up some really good points. Um, I can relate, like you're talking about language. Well, I, I've been talking with Jeffrey Morlock and they have been working on getting the PDF for on passive into several, several languages, which is just an amazing feat on its own. And understanding what you're saying, I have a hearing impairment. I still am able to hear okay because I can wear hearing aids, but I still, you know, they're not your own ears. So I can appreciate what you're saying. And I just want to say for the takeaway, this is, is you really opened a door for me because, you know, I sometimes take for granted that I can hear because of hearing aids, but there's other people out there that are even more challenged that cannot. And so to hear what you're saying, that there is no one anywhere that cannot have access to on passive. Well, wow, that is 
Awesome. Lynn, I want to thank you so much for what you brought up. And, you know, folks, if, if you're listening to this and you are challenged in any of these ways that, that Lynn has shared with us, please check out onpassive.com or have someone help you in that manner so we can see what we can do for you and get you connected and get you in as a founder because these positions are so valuable for what's going to be happening for each of us going forward. So Lynn, thank you again very much. I so appreciate what you've added to this show today. That is, that is just marvelous. So you have and a thank you. Meeting. Thank you for providing a wonderful forum for us to express our views. I appreciate you very much. Oh, thanks, Lynn. It is just such a joy to be able to share on Passive with whoever it may be. So thanks again and have a great evening. You too.